Welcome to Culture Talk. This is the segment where we talk about the intersection of science, faith, and pop culture, and how culturally relevant topics can be used to start conversations about your faith. I'm joined with Dr. Hugh Ross, astronomer and pie lover. Pie lover? Kind of. Kind we're talking of. about the mathematical pie. Right, yeah, because the other pie, not so you much. You won't touch it, right. right. <laughs> well, we're going to be talking about Pi Day, and that is March 14th, or 314. But of course, we Americans like any excuse to have pie. So thinking about math now, what exactly is pie? P-I. Well, I'm glad you said pie, because <laughs> pie is a circle, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, pi is just simply the... Uh, the circumference divided by the diameter. That's it. So. so for people who aren't mathematicians or who kind of shun math because it's scary for them, how can you help them understand what pi is used for? Well, the very first computer program I ever wrote when I was a teenager was a computer program to calculate the value of pi to as many decimals as I wanted. You know, and that's a fun exercise. Yeah. And to me, the significance of pi is it really shows how unique we humans are. We're compulsively symbolic in the way we think and talk. Mm -hmm. And pi is a great example of that uh, symbolic compulsion. So that's what separates us from the animals. Well, that's a great point. So when we think about math and we think about our ability to understand math, how then do we start to get a deeper insight into how we were made as humans? And you talk about the uniqueness. How do we understand that? Well, it's our symbolic capability that allows us to engage in philosophy, mathematics, theology, to really begin to ask the big questions, to be able to take practical things and put it in a theoretical basis. Mm -hmm. I mean, so much of our life is theoretical, and without symbolic capability, that just simply wouldn't be possible. So when you talk about symbolic capability, for our friends who maybe aren't sure what that means, how would you define that? Well, think of numbers and letters, our mm -hmm. ability to uh, compose paragraphs, mm -hmm. to speak in sentences. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, parrots talk, but it's just little short phrases. We actually uh, communicate in complex paragraphs, large vocabulary, where there's meaning and significance. And meaning and significance, it goes beyond just identifying different things in your realm, like cat, dog, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, things like pie. It's just basically something that's uh, abstract mm -hmm. and uh, so and that's unique to us humans uh, we're, we're abstract thinkers we're problem solvers and the problems we solve are abstract it's not just getting food right so we're able to think of abstract complex uh, thoughts and to also create art and and write and communicate on well, a, know, a lot level. of art is mathematical in nature mm -hmm. uh, my son's an artist and uh, he was always telling me how his capacity to do mathematics helps him to actually get a particular form and structure in his art. Mm -hmm. And so we think of art and music as uh, being something not mathematical, quite the opposite. Right. It's highly mathematical, highly symbolic. And it's really interesting for people who maybe aren't interested in math, but they are interested in art, if they start to understand the connection, they can get a deeper understanding of what makes us unique as humans. And from a Christian perspective, we have a very specific reason as to why we are unique and different from animals. So how would you explain that? Well, for example, my wife is uh, always amazed at how I can identify a composer mm -hmm. just listening to the music. I listen for the mathematical patterns. Oh, wow. Because you know, each composer seems to appreciate a certain mathematical complexity. Mm -hmm. You look for that. And even though I've never heard the piece before, you can figure out who the uh, composer is. And that's just because we are symbolic beings. Yeah. And so from a Christian perspective, then, what would we say gives us that unique, uh, those unique characteristics? Well, as the Genesis points out, mm -hmm. there are three separate origins of life. Mm -hmm. The origin of life is purely physical. I would work for the microbes and the bacteria, uh, which you see in creation day five, when God creates life that's not just physical but soulish, where they got emotions mind and will, but there's one and only one species, that's body, soul, and spirit, with the capacity to think about God, communicate about God, and see God is non-physical. Mm -hmm. And so it's our capacity to think in abstract, symbolic ways that actually allows us to discover that there is a God and to actually develop a relationship with that God. So you're talking about Genesis, and you're talking about humans being created in God's image, right? Right, right. So how then can we look at math and see it as an expression of God's mind? 
Well, I was taught in my very first class uh, in physics at the University of British Columbia, here's a key to success as a physicist. The right answer is always the one described by the most beautiful and elegant mathematics. What does that tell you about the Creator? Mm. If the math that describes the physical world has the epitome of elegance and beauty in it, that tells us that the Creator is a being that really appreciates beauty and elegance and everything He creates expresses that, which means you are beautiful and elegant. I'm beautiful and elegant. Everything God creates. Mm -hmm. And so as we look at the real world, we look at animals, we can see that expression of beauty and elegance everywhere, and it even shows up in our number and letter system. Yeah, and that's a great way to then share our faith with someone, to talk about them being beautiful and elegant, and talk about that we see beauty and elegance in the world. And the it's reason, ubiquitous. Right, and yeah. the reason we do is because we have a loving, caring, and artistic God who made it all available for us. All those galaxies out there, they're beautiful and yeah. elegant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Hugh, for joining sure. us. If you'd like to hear more from Dr. Hugh Ross, visit reasons.org and search Today's New Reason to Believe.